Welcome back. You're joining me live for Operation Fallen Scepter. We are touching down in the same small map as we were just on, actually, so it's a good old double dip. Um, UFO crash in India. We just shot down a small fighter, and we are going in to clean up the wreckage, clean up the aliens, put them all in body bags, and bring home all their stuff, and then just do whatever the hell we want with it. Pretty much standard operating procedure for XCOM. We're going to get down there with our fairly low-ranking team, but we don't, uh, we're certainly not without our carries, uh, and we're going to see what we're doing. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. So as you can see, we've completed our long-range patrol from the Sky Ranger all the way around the swamp. Lieutenant Flash likes things done by the book, likes them done right, you understand? So we've, uh, we can assume this is all patrolled, right? Wrong! Because the swamp A's, the aliens might have come out of the mud. We gotta, we gotta patrol this again. Uh, but no, what I'm probably gonna do is, much like last mission, uh, not so much the long engagement ranges where I can manage them. I don't really need the longest engagement range. Like, Soylent still does, but we haven't even got a sniper on this mission. Everybody else is just ready to get stuck in at close range. We want these engagements to be short. We do not have tanking power, as displayed last mission. When you don't have absorption fields on your mechs, you do not have tanking power at all. And even sectoids can do some nasty damage. So if we roll anything nasty down the mectoid pod, you know, we don't want to get into these long engagements where we have to sustain for more than one turn, because you're going to see some wounds times on your mechs, or you're going to see some dead troops. Neither of those are good things. So the idea here is to listen for those audio cues, hit hard, hit fast, we'll probably try to ambush them at close range this time around. Don't know how much good Sun will do in those kind of situations, but we'll do our best. Uh, and then just go straight for the UFO, try to save as much uh, metal as we can. That's the idea. Let's get into it. Who's up first? Who's on first? Burn Cycle, you're a scout. I'm on it, Commander. Seems only fitting, and we have our first mill canister straight up right there. Heading out. Now Volatile does have absorption fields, I misspoke. What else have I made mistakes on? In you know what I made a mistake on? I saw through a clerical error. Apparently we have two okay. Van Velden hotshots. Van, Van Duren hotshots in our roster. I guess that second guy must be a different name. I wonder aye who. Aye, okay, we're going to want to swap that spot for Soylent, actually. On the move. Couple top quite slow, but looking badass nonetheless. Oh yeah, and we have like seven outsider shards, don't worry. We got plenty of outsider shards, baby. Sim, if I can switch you around, that corner cover is perfect for a move limited weapon. Okay, now... We're gonna go ahead and stick a mine on our flank. Didn't use like half our mines last mission. Let's start spreading them out way earlier this time. We're gonna beeline straight for that meld. We got mech again by the sound of it. Go. Alright, nada, but we got that meld next turn. Roll up, roll up. Let's go, Payfork. I want this done fast this time around. Fast, and, but, you know, still by the book. I want it done fast and by the book. That's how crazy I am. Location confirmed. Okay, let's keep going. Solid copy. Wilco. No scans on Burn Cycle, he's a flush scout. I'm on the move. More towards the late game. Got some scans on these two though, which we can use and we should use. Let's check a scan over this hill. See what's waiting for us Eyes next turn. Sky. Okay, nothing over there. And then what good is when we want some on one flank? If we can't know what's on the other, let's chuck your ad scan over this side as well. That is a good throwing arm, your ad. Grenadier training pain off. Check that skin over here. A better look. See what's over the hill, if anything. Nada, okay. Very interesting. Give me audio, come on. Okay. What's making that noise? So that's either like a solo sector pod hiding behind this rock. Or we've got mechs inside the UFO by the sound of it. Let's take this meld first, worry about it later. On my way. That is three-way cover, that is tri-linear cover, I like Canister that. Secured. I want to use that if possible. I'm on the move. Okay, W is covering us from that side. 
Uh, let's chuck another scan. Nah, let's save it. Save it till we get closer to the audio cues. I want to know what's inside those audio cues. Posizione confermata. But the rest of you, let's go. Roger that. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna scan over here and see if it is over in this direction after all. Let's have a peek. Yes, let's let's have a peek. Ooh, that is closer than I expected. Okay, and that's a nasty pod too. That's two mutant elites, a berserker, and two heavy floaters. Pretty much everything a rookie squad could hate is in here. You've got just raw HP, AOE damage to fuck up your hunkers, uh, you know, just suppression, just pure killing power in the elites. You've got things that they will never ever fucking hit in the heavy floaters. And you've got the berserker who is going to shred their already low will with those intimidates. So this is one of the worst pods we could have ever got, I think. We're going to need to set up some preemptive mines instead in, uh, in case they come at us. That is not good. I will be running away from that the first chance I get, which hopefully is to say they won't come at me next turn. But that's pretty fucking scary. That is not a good pod to be up against, and we're going to want to prepare for that as much as we can. Soylent, you need to prepare for this. Need to check that I'm not going to activate on the right. Okay, bring a couple drop back in. Soylent has to prepare over here. Ten four. And Zim is going to have to carry. We're going to want to ambush that at close range and flame and mine the shit out of it. I'm watching. That's what we're going to want. We do have some side inspiration. Got to make sure that engineer doesn't get panicked. Okay, good. They ain't moving. That is ideal. Now let's count this out because this is important. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So we would have taken one step and activated this hell pod. Now, if they stay still, this is fantastic. And there's another mech pod out there too. If they stay still, this is fantastic. We can sneak up to like around this position and just lay mines into them. And that's the ideal. So if I sneak myself around the right here, we can start Heading doing that. There now. So again, it was... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The metal canister marks the extent of their range. If we don't walk in front of the metal canister, we should be good. Nah, like that. That is not a good move. Let's just roll back here. That is a terrifying pod. And we are going to do everything we can to fuck it over as much as possible. I think, yeah, I think if we can sneak up on it, which may be easier said than done, because if I try to come along this hill, that guy's going to see me. So I might have to sneak around from the right side and lob mines from this position. Or I could try to lob mines from the diagonal tree, but I don't think that's going to work. So we're just going to have to try to come from far right, I think. Will do. Alien object in sight. Scary shit, though. Scary shit. Moving to position. Don't care about that second metal as much right now. Got bigger things to worry about in this horror pod. It's kind of like a dinosaur. It's like a sauropod. It's a horror pod. Moving. Scarier than the T-Rex, I'm afraid. Okay, just to be okay. safe, go around the back. Yeah, we want no part of this shit. Okay, and there's your mech pod. Four sectoids and a mech toy. Now, hopefully that stays the fuck away from us while we're dealing with this shit. Seems like they're entirely happy to sit there, which works for me. We're just going to sneak around the right at our leisure and take them out at our leisure. Works for me. Freaks me out when they turn around to jump over a ledge. It's like, oh god, they're about to reveal. They're about to reveal for no good reason. Keep setting up mines around here. Lay out a bounding box around them. Then we'll hit them from the right side, and if they try to take that left flank, they should be screwed. So this will take a little while, but it's going to be worth it for not dying, you know? That's affirmative. It's always worth it to not die. Solid copy. Moving 
Let's go cop top. Yeah, should be fine. And Soylent, you might want to keep up with us. This is a dangerous place to live. Stepping off. Overwatch. Okay, just as long as the Mectoid stays away from us and doesn't patrol into a mine. If it does, things get more complicated than they already are, I'm afraid. Sim can pick that up. Or anyone can pick that up. Now again, we have to be careful coming around the side that we don't reveal, so we'll take a wide berth. Fuck, that's not a wide berth. Careful, careful, careful. That's a ramp. We'll take a wide berth, as I was saying. Should be able to go to there. That's fine. Probably stop compulsively mining at this point. We'll just lay one more to the rear here in case the Mectoid pod does activate and wants to come after us. It can enjoy a little fuck you present if it tries to chase us. Always give good little fuck you presents to Mectoids. They've been good all year, they deserve the fuck yous. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I hate it when you guys take that ramp. Stop it. Stop taking the ramp. Go off the ramp. I'm on the move. Act like you in America. Take the off ramp. Running. Got it. Eyes on the Running. Scanning. Okay, as long as they don't suddenly decide to move, this should be a fun little use of proximity mines. If they do decide to move, it's not going to be as much fun. Because that is a hell of a fucking pod. So I think if we come out, like, give ourselves, like, 17 tiles. Oh yeah, if we come around to here, it can't see us. We can actually move up to this tree stump and just start chucking mines over. And we're just going to wipe that pod with the cheesiest tactics possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Affirmative, we're just going to drop four proximity mines on top of that pod. And I won't feel bad about it for a second because fuck aliens. That's right, you heard it here first. Don't give me none of that empathy bullshit right now. We're just gonna blow them up like it's an old building we want to get rid of. Aye, aye. They gave him your position. Heading there now. Major boy. On the move. And we got the meld, so there you go. Bonus. Bonerous. I'm on the move. I'm 12 years old. In the Bone ass. Moving out. <laughs> I get it. Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, they are walking towards those mines, aren't they? Well, that's going to be a fun little minefield for them if they decide to step into it, so we'll see how they go. You ever wonder what this game would be like if you just brought nothing but archers in your squad? I wonder about that. It keeps me up at night sometimes. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do an all-archer squad. That would that would fucking own, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're getting ready here. Just imagine, like, just imagine having that many mines every turn. It'd be like a different game. It'd be like you were playing I'm on my way. whatever the opposite of Minesweeper would be. Roger that. Mine Placer. That game would okay. be fucking awesome. I want to play that game. I'm going to make an all-archer squad before way. XCOM 2 comes out, which uh, on my way. some people will probably be like, why isn't people talking about XCOM 2 yet? It's because I already got all my hype out on stream. You guys missed it if you didn't come to the streams. I actually kind of want to do an impressions video of XCOM 2. I've been thinking about doing like a, here's what I think of XCOM 2. Spoilers, it's going to be, it's great, but I mean, you know, get some articulated thoughts out there. People might like to hear it. Who knows? Maybe I've already done it by this episode. Maybe I'll never do it. Who knows? Yeah, they are coming towards those mines. Next turn, they're gonna walk onto that mine. Damn it! I wanted to fuck with these things. And when they set off that mine, I'm gonna have the contact, and then... God damn it. I'm gonna have to deal with all the contact, because they're gonna move, because they heard noise. Fuck, damn it. Come on, let's get moving. Let's... Let's try to place some mines before they move. Can't place some mines before they move. 
Ah, oh, finally I got here like a couple of turns earlier. I wouldn't have to worry about this, but I think they're going to move when the Mectoid sets off that mine. And this is going to be a horrific two-pot engagement that is going to make me wish I wasn't alive. Moving. But hey, I got to place lots of mines and that was fun. So, I mean, no one can take that away from me. I'm on the move. Hopefully. Hopefully no one can take that away from me. Here. Not a lot of cover here, and I've kind of mined a lot of the good cover. <laughs> so I'll have to be careful. Aye, aye, Commander. But, just give me one more turn of mining these fucks. Just one more mine. Just one more mine, man. You know I'm good for it. Just one more mine. You know I'll pay you back. Just sit still, you fucks. Okay, well, we've got contact. Now they're gonna move. Please don't move this turn, just one more- No! Okay, this is bad. Stupid fucking Tattletail Mectoid. Okay, so we got four Sectoids and a Mectoid. Oh, please move into my mind traps. We're gonna have the four backs. We got two Elites. Two heavy floaters, aka flying death, and one berserker. This just got interesting. So hopefully if I fall back, the mech turtle will take enough time or kill itself getting through the minefield. I've never used mines like this. This is how mines are meant to be used, you know, as an actual minefield. Never actually used them like this. It's interesting. I'll give you that much. That one's got sapper, fuck you. I think they have to pull back because when they throw a grenade, that mine's going to go off and it's going to hit soil anyway. So we got to fall back for so many good reasons. So many good reasons to fall back right now. I want a battle scanner so these mines definitely go off now. I do not want any nasty surprises of these stupid mechtoids. So I'd say... Pabulum's got the dense smoke. Has anyone got a scan left? No, it's Pabulum or Bust. We're definitely gonna need a scan though, no matter what. So let's pop her down. Aye, aye, Commander. So we need that scan, no matter what. We have to throw this scanner out. Uh, probably to here, so I see these mines over on the other side as well. Scanning. Okay, that's all good. More mines. This problem needs more mines to solve it. I don't know what that berserker is, and I really don't want to find out right now, so... Just set up more mines, I think, is the answer to everyone's problems. Set up more mines and fall back into better cover. And do our best. Not happy, though. Not at all happy of how this is playing out. On the move. Stick you down here, and we can smoke if we have to. Might leave you in that position volatile. They haven't got heat. You can tank. Hey, folks, gonna wanna fall back. Drop a mine down here. Also, potentially drop a position for. or drop something for Zim to suppress off of, I think. Like, if we drop Payfork down to here. Oh god, the Berserker's there! Okay, that explains where it went. Okay, different plan, different plan, different plan. Different plan, we have to kill the Berserker. Hello, Berserker. Hello. I have to kill you. Okay, different plan, different plan. Very different plan just developed. No more smoke grenade. Smoke grenade no longer involved in this plan. Now not involved. Now we throw grenade. Throwing grenade. That's better. Fuck you, Berserker. Oh yes, baby. Hey, that works. I'll take that. Who's got the science inspiration? Anybody? Oh, no one this turn. Fuck. That would have been perfect, but uh, my medic. My medic. It was my medic. Okay. So we'll go ahead and deal with this fuck boy. Approaching to engage. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. 
Good. Berserker down. Score. Score and such. We still gotta deal with these shits though. Sim! Here's Sim! They're not that big. Sim could rapid fire, but they're heavy floaters, so you'll never hit them. So probably just some suppression will be the best. Soil it still has to move annoyingly. Very annoyingly. So we might run soil over here to the left. That's ah, a little bit shitty looking. Um, where can we run soil to? Maybe run soil back to this position. Ten four. Copper top. What will you do? What indeed? So many choices to make, and none of them seem particularly good. Okay, copper top. Now I could run and get up here, and that's ballsy. I could take a shot, but I, in the end, I don't think it'll be very good. Trying to get a flush on this guy might also help. Ultimately, I could also decide to just get down and not expose myself too much. I'm already exposed here, though, to that one. The archer's already exposed, already made my bed, got a lion at. Where do we want to move to then? You don't really have a choice, you just kind of have to move to here. To here. I'm on it, Commander. You're not going to have a shot, but that's alright. We probably don't want you to have a shot right now anyway. And yeah, not really many places for Mr. Coppertop to move to. Even the left, he's going to get mined, I think. So we'll just yeah. stick you in the half cover on the right. Worst case, he can waste its breath on you. I might even try to flush you and see if it actually does anything. No, it's not going to make you move. That's fine, just sit there and be a big target. Sim is going to suppress this floater. You take a shot. Oh, I should have done that first, because that impossibly good hit would have just let me flush the damn thing. Stupid, stupid Beagle. Beagle is racing for death. Okay, they're going to shield the Mectoid this time around, which is bad, because it means it's going to survive the mines. The mines were right. The mine prophecy. So the Mectoid is going to be able to do what it wants this turn. Stupid Beagle could have flushed it, could have been dead. Here comes... a Sectoid? Okay. Here comes Elite. Go for what? Go for what? Good turn, good turn, good turn. Good turn. Okay. Now at this point, what have we got? That thing does not have covering fire, so fuck you, we're gonna dense smoke ourselves. And we're gonna go for broke, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, dense smoke. And then we're gonna sign spire. I love dense smoke, I just hate how I can't fucking see right now. I guess that's the point. Sign Spire. Big AoE on that move. Big Sign Spire. Okay, now can Soylent... Yes, Soylent can see, though Soylent can't flush. We may as well play some Polytargain if we can. And just try to kill it. Coppertop can do whatever the hell he wants. I don't really want to think about coming around the left here and getting ready to take on something, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do here. Can move up and try to flame. But that would take out one of their heavy floatons. It's already got in its radius a little bit. If I stick a second mine over here and then flame, that should all be fire. Everything should be fire and that floater should be dead. That's good. Is very good right now. Where is my boy the scouts? There's Burn Cycle. Okay. Burn Cycle will run you out here. We'll take a shot with the holo targeting. Copy that. Dense smoke lightning reflexes. What you gonna do about it? Incoming fire. I got flash too. Death Cat can actually solo this guy. Okay, Death Cat can't see this guy. Ignore everything I just said. It was all a ruse. I didn't time. want to have fun at all. Okay, so we need a different way to kill this guy. Well, Zim does have the flush. 
Zoom does still have the flash though. Hell, let's just do it. Okay, now let's bring Volatile to this position. Or, I don't want to take fire if I don't have to. But I do have to. I tell you what, if I move to... Oh no, then I'm in the mine radius. I see why I was doing it that way. I see why I do things. I'm not as stupid as I thought. I still kind of want to be in the dank, the, the dank smoke, though. Do I still have... I still have your ad here. So maybe we can do something different here. Hold on. Let's do something slightly different. Chuck this. Mwaha. Uh -huh. And hey, get fucked, you big pepperoni pizza shit. Get a kill, you're out here. Get a big old pyrotechnics kill. That is... What? That's not enough damage. That is not nearly enough damage. Revealed some more problems though, apparently. Got some elites on Overwatch down there that I can apparently see now that all the rocks are gone. I guess the battle scanner can see them now. Did some damage to them at least, but not as much as I'd like to have done. I think if I run up, they'll catch me on Overwatch, which is a problem. Otherwise, I could just run up and flame all of them, and everything would be great. Um, and if I run up to here, the mechs will have eyes on me too. There's, there's just too much fire on me, I think, if I move up to here. But I really want to do it. I really want to get that flame. Because that is a that is a world-class flame right there. You probably won't have eyes on me. You might. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... There's a world-class flame, I cannot deny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is a world-class goddamn flame. I cannot deny that might be worth trying. On my way. Oh god, he has got eyes on me. God damn it. That was the one I was hoping wouldn't shoot me. Now the other two are gonna shoot me. Oh, lucky. I know nothing about this game, apparently. Those two didn't shoot me. Okay, so now we wanna... Now, elevation can be a bit dicky with a flamethrower, as we learned last time on Flamethrower Wars. So I want to try and hit the bottom ground because it's more important I get the Mutons. And if I get the floater, you know, if I get the heavy floater, it's just a nice coincidence. So we're gonna go for that first. They won't last long. Nice, nice, nice. Run, bitches. They are not gonna be problems anymore. Oh yeah, fuck you, pod. I love fire so much. Fire is so great. Okay, that simplifies things considerably. Hey, what do you know? Death Cat can be useful now. Well, you tried. And that's the most important thing. Okay, let's bring Copper Top over... That is not cover, apparently. Let's bring Copper Top over to the side. Uh, and let's just get him ready uh, in case that Mechtoid comes, I think. That's what we're going to be ready for. We don't know where it is. We're going to be ready when it comes. That's next turn. We deal with the Mechtoid, then this should be all sewn up. Everything will be fire. Now, I think one of those Sectoids died on contact of the mine, which was hilarious. So we should just be dealing with three of them. That Mechtoid has a cross of mine to get to me, and I can see it's right here. So it's going to come to the ramp, actually. It's not going to cross the mine. It's going to come to the ramp. Here it comes. Okay, as long as it doesn't kill anyone this turn. Nice. I think we're good. Sectoids be like, hey, fuck you. Well, I'd be like, hey, fuck you, Sectoids. Alright, I'm actually quite close to activating the Mechtoids, so let's not do that. Okay, and it can't see anybody. Good, good. Okay, so I want to chuck a mine over here. Uh, how are we going to set it off, though? Probably if we come left one. I'm on the move. Oh, I still can't see the damn mech toy, apparently. Well, you know what? We're gonna improvise then. Where was it? It was like here? Fine, fuck you then. I'll do it my way. I stick the mine on you there. See, now we're using mines. Now this is mining. Now this is fucking pod racing is what this is. Okay, and what do you think of this shit, bitch? Actually, it has the move to shoot, so I'll just let it set it off by itself. No need to be rude, Beagle. No need to be rude. 
Probably just get our people, uh, make sure they're safe. After this next one. If anything, I guess start to maneuver them around the right side. Uh, and start to think about killing sectoids. Yes, There's not a lot for them to do otherwise. Heading to that location. Pull right back. Be extra careful. Extra careful. I mean extra careful. Of uh, anything that can go I wrong here. Mine. Check a little smoky smoke up. A little smoky smoke for you. Should help out of the whole mechzoid thing. I feel, Commander. Defensive. All right, and wait for the mechzoid to charge you. I wonder if that mine will go off because I haven't got vision on it. It might not actually. Maybe I should have used the flamethrower. It always gets me that bug. Damn, mine might not actually go off. But I mean, we weren't going to kill it this turn anyway, so I mean, worst case, it's just a little bit less Hey, Lamau! Sounds like a sectoid set it up for me. Okay, so it's another sectoid down. The mectoid's still live. And yet, it's still not coming at me. What the fuck? On the move. Yeah, there it is. It's there and it's mad. Yeah, the sectoid set it off. Thanks, little buddies. Now I want to shoot it in the face. Get the mine up here. Oh yes, this will be most painful. This will be extremely painful. For you. Alright, now we just need a tinkle dinkle more damage here and we're gonna be sewing this mechdoid contact right up. Just a tinkly dinkly more contact and we're gonna be all good. I'm on it, Commander. Hello, tinkly dinkly more contact. Hello, Winky Dinky. Winkly Wonkly. Willy Wonka. Hello, motherfucker! Okay, and I think we got like what? One more sector out there? Maybe two? I don't know at this point. Let's get up there and murder whatever's hey, left. Boy. I like that the sectoids can't come on the left because I've got my fucking Verdun minefield here. That's really handy. Let's check a cursory smoke here just in case the sectoids see one of them. Well, in case they see Zim because Burnt is not going to stay there. Nice little bit of scorched earth. Nice little mission. This is this should have been Blinding Thunder, man. This was the Blinding Thunder oh, operation. Wait. This was it. <laughs> she may not be a Master Sergeant, but Volatile Bullfrog is living up to the name. She is laying fucking waste, and I guess Bullfrogs live in swamps, so hey. If you stretch far enough, it makes a lot of sense. If you push it far enough, it, it makes total sense what's happening right now. On Overwatch. Okay, so uh, Lieutenant Flash, you can come back, it's alright. It's under control. I feel, Commander. Just a winkly dink of sector contact left. Oh, little buddy, I'm coming for your ass. Enemy units retreating. Oh no, don't retreat. It's just gonna be more painful for you when you die. I'm on my way. Okay, there's still a mute on there, isn't there? Well, I I don't know who I want to kill now. I'll tell you what. I'm on it, Commander. Let's come over here. Balls. Negative damage. Doesn't anybody want to kill this stupid sectoid? I have a bad feeling that Elite's about to unpanic. Would have really been nice if he was dead. What if? Nope. Well, we kind of got to take the sectoid.
kind of got to take the sectoid. Roger, tracking. Stepping off. Avanzo la posizione. Posizione difensiva. All right. Take the damn sector then. And one little elite left, and I am worried this elite is about to come back and kill us, but let's just do the best we can, shall we? That's affirmative. Nope, he's dead. Your ass is mine. Eventually, it is inevitable. Ammo nearing this will happen. This is happening now. No ammunition remaining. Destroyed. Okay, let's get rid of the murderer outsider. I'm rolling. That was fun. I enjoyed that. High five, team. That was good times. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Headed there now. Solid copy. You have fun, Valkyries? You have fun, Volatile? Oh yeah, it was alright. It was marginally fun. I had a good margin of fun. Affirmativo. Roger that. On Overwatch. Roger that. Overwatch. Okay. Okay. We're green to go. Let's reload that Valkyrie. Let's stomp us an outsider into the dirt. <laughs> Yeah, bay at me, you stupid little crystal. I'm gonna put you back in the Dorito packet you came from. I'm on the move. Me mwah. Me mwah, mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Position confirmed. I'm ready. Hey, Guardia, let's do this. Roger that. Yeah, I can't. I feel, Commander. Avanzo la posizione. I'm on it, Commander. <laughs> Didn't even bay this time. Heading there now. Mi dirigo verso quella posizione. Heading to that location. Okay, bruh, let's do it. Moving to Overwatch. Guardia, scanning. Scanning. Your ass is mine, you little Dorito cheese, supreme nacho piece of shit, cool ranch motherfucker. Time to get dunked! By your ad here. Moving. Here they come. Where are you gonna run? Where are you gonna run? Where are you gonna run to? That's actually a pretty good place to run. But it's not good enough. I'm still gonna fuck you. Soylent isn't gonna do sh- Soylent's gonna command. Don't worry, Soylent's gonna command. But I'm still gonna fuck Moving you. Out. Give me that tasty, tasty hollow targeting, baby. Please? Fuck you. Okay, fine. Don't give me the hollow targeting. I'll get it myself. Hey, Mecca fucking Rena. Okay, who wants the honor of this kill? Let's give it to the archer if it can make it. Go watch her, go watch her, go! You got this, baby! That's a tree. Okay. Hey, the archer's already MVP. That archer got so many kills. How about you, Mr. Copper Top? You feeling gank today, son? I bet you could do it. Not with that fucking attitude. Man, none of you can see this thing, huh? It's kind of shitty. Let's bring you around for the okay. flank, WMC. Looks like you're gonna be handling this one. Another one down. Good work, Commander. Nicely done. Many more explosions than the last small. That was a little bit more bang for your buck, quite literally. That was fun. I rarely get to set up actual functional minefields to deny passage to the enemy. Usually I just kill people with them. That was great. Like, usually I just, like, throw anti-personnel mines at people's heads, and that's not how you're meant to use them, but it's usually how I do it. But that was great. We set up an actual minefield. It was wicked. 
maybe it wasn't as cool as like the five stack mine Michael Bayx, uh, you know, welcome to the jungle pyrotechnics explosion I wanted to do on that pod. But what happened was still pretty cool. I liked it. Good job, everyone. Hey, promotions for everybody. Zim got that promotion and she's 10 days out, so she's gonna match up with that base assault timing. Uh, and we've got Mayhem Sentinel Resilience, and as, as I've said in the past, um, Mayhem's pretty good. Mayhem's pretty good, so we'll probably end up going Mayhem, especially if the Danger Zone Heat Mayhem, that is gonna be <laughs> delicious. Burn Cycle up to Sergeant, he is way more useful now. Once you get past Corporal, those troops are way more useful. Got a lot of alloys, so we can restart um, server motors just as Grandmaster Beagle ordained in his master plan. We're gonna sell the flight computer and the power source, of course, but yeah, extra alloys. Go ahead and sell those now. We're gonna be able to get into advanced server motors, which is uh, an excellent day. Okay, so we need to sell some more crap. Whose crap am I gonna sell? Let's sell some dr. Actually, I need these later, I think. Let's not sell too many of them. I think I need those later. Um, what can we sell? None of those. Those are gold. Those are worth gold. Let's sell a couple of these because I think we only need eight of them, right? I'll sell some of these craps. And what else do we need? What else can we sell? Some berserker corpses, perhaps? I don't know. It's I, I've just got sick of checking all the time. Never sell mutant elite corpses. Never, ever. Um, I've just got sick of checking all the time what I can and can't sell, so now I just kind of freeball it. Fuck it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Men have fought for gods and kings alike. But now we fight for the very survival of our species. Good title drop, Shen. That was clever. Gods and kings. I know. I know who made that. It was clever. Um, I could sell some of the spare carapace if I really wanted to. Nah, let's not. Let's just sell some more crap. Like, okay, fuck it. Let's sell 10 chrysalids. That should put us into the correct range. Yes, advanced server motors completing this today. Sorry, Shen. Commander, we're receiving Ooh. a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Bomb dispazzle. Okay. We have got a bomb dispazzle in... Looks like butcher shop. Looks like Chinese butcher shop. $185 in panic reduction. I didn't need to sell anything. I could have just cut the $185 from the damn bomb disposal mission. We've yet to establish a motive behind this activity. Well, probably blowing up China, I would imagine. Um, Central will provide further details. Okay, time to gear up and let's go out on a bomb mission. Excellent. Alright, so my roster's kind of junk right now. Um, this was the lineup of people who are actually ready for the mission. Cool. Here's the people I'm using. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I'm... The the effects of the base... Oh, I gotta re recover again. The effects of the base defense are starting to show themselves now, not just in the loss of cell, but also that, um... Well, we've got kind of a problem here with this deepening fatigue spiral, but... You know, I've always had one way to deal with fatigue spirals, and I don't know if it's the right way, but it's the way I do it, and it always works for me, is just push through it. Just take that fatigue spiral in your hands, just take it in your hands, and just bury your face in it, like, just, just go straight through it, just go full fatigue spiral. And just pray that if you just go hard enough, and you exhaust every good troop you've ever owned, uh, hard enough, eventually the game will give you, like, a week, and you'll get everyone back. That's generally how I deal with fatigue spirals. So... No sniper, that's alright. Butcher shop's not very good for snipers. Uh, got a pair of assaults. Fraggy's getting pulled out, which is how you know we're in a fatigue spiral. Volatile's double dipping. Renzol's going on another one. As much as I could, I've tried to only exhaust people who are already on five days, so it doesn't affect my roster too much more than it already is. Because I'm already in a spiral. Vandorn's leading us out. He's not taking the machine gun. He's got extra conditioning and the auto rifle, because butcher shop is not good for squad sight. Or at least it's not good for not, like... You have to be able to move and shoot on butcher shop, I feel. Um, we've got the grenades on Hypergeek and some extra medical kits, extra make it on Vagabond, Battle Scans, Cam, I think Vagabond and Fraggy are the only people not going to be fatigued, exhausted after this mission. 
Uh, yeah, just using the assault muscle I have, because I have lots of assault, using the gunner muscle I have, just exhausting my assaults and gunners. Um, engineers, fuck it, he's on four days and we need a good engineer who's actually gonna pull his weight. Bombard grenades, I can put him on the roof and just chuck grenades over the arc. Renzel, go up on, well, can't go up on the roof, but just chuck fucking proxy mines everywhere. Battle scans of Vagabond. Reveal that truck area beyond the first butcher shop. Lay mines everywhere. Have fun from there. Volatile. Set fire to things. Do what you do. I'm tempted to bring the Marauder for the jet boots because butcher shop's an amazing map to have jet boots on, but without absorption fields, I'm not feeling it. I don't like to fuck around in bomb missions. I don't like it when you lose them because you lose a lot of people potentially and you potentially lose a country. So I'm just going to go in there, do this one by the numbers, and we're going to deal the fatigue spiral by just punching our balls through it pretty much. So let's do it. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We're heading into China for the next operation. Okay. He always gets me. I always forget how short his bomb briefings are. Time is of the essence, you know? So I should respect time of being of the essence for me and make this a short sign-off. We will see you next time for Operation Crystal Vanguard. Uh, I will not let Hong Kong blow up. Don't worry. See you then.